How's it going everyone? Today we've got a BMW M5 F90, 720 horsepower, and what an amazing car it is. The owner of the car didn't want to be in the interview part, so we've got Sean instead. I, I'm, f I'm fulfilling the, the role today. Yeah, this is a 720 horsepower BMW F90, uh, 2018. And this car is for sale, so uh, check the description below for more information on uh, the sale and all that stuff there. So what would be the specs of the car? Okay, so this is a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 BMW engine with 720 horsepower and a thousand newton meters of torque. Uh, it's also got four wheel drive, which you can change the, uh, you know, from 50-50 down to 70-30, if, if I remember correctly. So you have 70% of the power goes to the rear wheels, 30% to the front wheels, and you can change that. But that's pretty, pretty insane for what this is. <laughs> Did you put it into rear wheel drive or something oh, though? I was in four wheel drive stuff. And it still was... <laughs> oh, that's mental. So is this car modified? Yeah, so the owner Joey was telling me that he got the car standard, he's uh, stage 2 it, so he's uh, modified the exhaust, yep. it's all, all leg legally of course, so, so the exhaust's been modified, it's got better intakes, and uh, you know, it's got, it's got the cone filters, it's, that's all he's really done to it, and it's obviously been tuned as well, but yeah, 720 horsepower and a thousand newtons, that's insane power. Some impressive figures, some very, very impressive figures. Yeah, that's Lamborghini killer's <laughs> power. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! So would this car be rare? Yeah, I would say it's 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 a pretty rare car. Obviously, it's a BMW M5. Most most BMW M5s or five series you see on the road. Oh, like 520 diesels or 530s or 535, you know, if it's really rare. But an M5, specifically, you know, with this kind of power, I would say is nearly one in a million. You've got, obviously, your standard M5, which this has been modified on top of. Yep. Uh, and I, I would definitely say this is probably one of the quickest cars in the country, or at least would be within the top 10, top 10 or 20 of one of the quickest cars in this country. In Northern Ireland? Yeah, probably, I would say. Very most likely. <laughs> <laughs> This is insane. So would the owner of this car drive this thing daily? Yeah, so I was speaking to Joey and he was saying this is more of his Sunday car. He drives it on a weekly basis, doesn't drive it, uh, you know, too much. This is more of his uh, pride and joy, his fun, and uh, he doesn't obviously want to put too many miles on it. Um, I don't know how many miles exactly on the car, but we'll put a wee link with, or we pop up with, with the miles on the car. Yep. But I wouldn't expect it to be awfully high. So what would be the MPG? Well, it's a shocking MPG. Uh, Joey was saying <laughs> he gets about maybe eight to 15 miles to the gallon. Now, obviously, you know, that's, this is a fun car. Yep. Having a bit of fun, it's gonna use a lot of fuel. You got a 4.4 liter V8. Yeah. Uh, and it takes a lot of, takes fuel to make horsepower and a lot of air and stuff. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a gas guzzler. Is the tank big on that? I think it's your standard tank. It's, uh, you know, I think you were saying you get about 200 miles on a tank. It's not huge, you know, fantastic mileage. But then again, in this kind of car, yep. you know, you're not buying it for fuel efficiency, you're buying it for the smiles per mile. Absolutely. <laughs> As you can see, this is a fantastic BMW F90 M5 BMW uh, 2018, and this car is for sale. Uh, there'll be more information in the description on how to contact the owner to buy it. He's looked after the car. It's not a daily car. It doesn't have crazy miles on it. It's fantastic. It's fun. It'll put smiles on your face. And really, at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's the ultimate driving machine. And uh, this is a fantastic example of, well, the ultimate driving machine. So check out the link in the description, guys. And uh, we'll see you later. Would this car be something hard to drive? Like you have to be very experienced to drive it. Obviously, you got, you got a lot of horsepower. You got 700 and something horsepower, 1,000 newton meters of torque. So you know, you put your foot down too heavily. You you obviously can get uh, slipping. Uh, you know, you're gonna, get, you, you're gonna be doing a burnout in 70 miles an hour. 
but you obviously got your four-wheel drive so that helps a lot with uh, control you also got your traction control which is great on this car you know it, it's quite it's quite a good car to drive you obviously you know you're not giving it to a 17 year old who's never driven before exactly you know if, you, if you've driven a couple of years and uh, you have some kind of idea of how power works in a car and then with your just just your different driving modes you know you don't have to drive at 720 horsepower all the time you can drive at 400 if you really want you know you can set, exactly. set the car up to how you want to drive yeah and that thing that makes it so fantastic is you don't have to you're not stuck to a 700 horsepower car you could uh, effectively teach your son how to drive yes it's, it'll be a lot more horsepower than the standard car but you're not going to have the full amount of horsepower to play with it's the nice the, ni the nice thing about bmws you can do that on yeah yeah and, and like this here you got your different buttons and you got your right. controls and there's there's a lot of versatility in it what the f holy sh holy sh <laughs> so what would be the quirks on this car? So this car has a couple awesome features. It's got a heads up display, so when you're driving you can actually see your RPM, you can see your speed, and as far as I'm aware you can actually see your navigation, so if you have to turn left it'll actually notify you on the heads up display, which is quite a rare feature because you don't really see it in many cars. Really only top spec cars see you see that and it's only a relatively f new feature um, another awesome thing that BMW have is if you turn your finger like this here in the air in front of the sat nav it'll turn the volume up or do it the other way it'll turn Ooh, the volume down fast. it's also got on the steering wheel you've got an M1 and an M2 button that you can customize so if you want uh, let's say you want to be a granny today put M1 make it all your comfortable luxury features you know in sense of you know comfortable suspension less horsepower etc then m2 can just be you know i'm the stig and we're going for it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah that's pretty awesome you, you don't see that very often on cars um, and nice. a lot of the time you have to dig in the in the settings and stuff now another cool thing on this car here is i'm not sure you probably did hear it as well there is a button to actually adjust how the exhaust sounds okay. so you have a quiet mode uh we press a button it sounds like a slightly louder than the average car and then you press the button and uh, you know everyone in the neighborhood knows you're here you know yeah. you, they, you, they, they know you have a BMW M5 that's 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 the difference it's, it's insane That is mental! Oh my god! So one more interesting thing about this car here is it's actually got a full carbon fiber roof. That's not a sticker, it's not it's actually genuinely from the factory, carbon fiber, to uh, help lower the center of gravity, which just gives you more performance and you know you can go around corners slightly quicker, you have less body roll. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just, just just goes back to the ultimate driving machine. If you're buying a car like this, it's obviously got to comply with noise and stuff in cities, and you don't want to annoy your neighbors when we wake up in the morning. If you do drive it as a daily, it's so nice that you can have nearly both worlds you can have your settings for econo economic driving quiet comfortable you know you can have kids sleeping in the back seat yep. and not wake them up um, or you could go for let's go let's win we win we're not going to uh, the roller coaster park we are in the roller coaster <laughs> and we want everyone to know that kind of yep. you know just a pure driving machine yeah you know, that's what bmw's are made for aren't they the ultimate, the ultimate driving, driving machine, machine. yeah yep. exactly yep. beautiful you know, car bmw's motorsport yeah, at the end of the day and uh, i don't think you get much closer to you know the performance in any other car than you would in an m5 absolutely you know absolutely. so big thanks to the owner for letting us film this amazing car this car is for sale link in description if you are interested in it so once again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one guys highly recommend you guys buy it it's awesome <laughs> absolutely amazing thing see you later guys bye now i'm quoting here not the right quote but I think Andrew Tate said, this is the cheapest way in getting into a, a supercar killer. Oh! Something like that. <laughs> it goes something like that. We'll put that at the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs>